a quarter-ton coal sculpture at the Anthracite Heritage Museum in Scranton. Administrator Chester Kalesa and I looked for work a bit more subtle, but equal in impact. Around the corner it begins, the works of Frank Wysochansky, Wiseau to most who knew him. He was born and raised in the Jessup area back when coal ruled, so he lived what he drew. Never formally trained, he used materials at hand, whatever he could find. And at that time, people had big families with lots of kids, so there were lots of crayons around. He would collect the little bits of crayons, and then he would melt those down and use that wax on his frame views that you see here. Chester says Wiseau is considered a folk artist by every measure. He lived it first, then translated the experience into art easily understood, but he never formally learned how to do it. But if you want to see something that grabs the meaning of the term, Wiseau sculptures will do it. Miner sharing dinner, offering a bite to rats. A miner wanted them as friends. If the mine was due to collapse, the men would see the rats running out ahead of them, uh, out of the shaft. So then they would know to clear the mine. So the rat was sort of a warning symbol, if you will, of impending danger. Wiseau used what he had to make art of strong character chicken wire, spray paint. He's used automotive bondo mm -hmm. that we would fill holes on a rusted car. He's using that as, as sort of the, the, the main material. Mm -hmm. Frank Wysochansky died 20 years ago. His art, as often happens, lives on, serving double duty, showing the abilities he came by naturally and depicting an era that helped to write history. Mike Stevens, Newswatch 16, on the Pennsylvania Road in Scranton.